a couple of people there. Um, thank you so much for coming to um, this term's principal question time. Just a few ground rules before we start. Mean tonight. Well, as you can see, we've got cameras around today. This is the first time we're filming principal's question time, so it is really, really important that number one, your phones are off silent. Unless you need an emergency phone call, you can leave it on. But on off silent and vibrate. Can you not hear me now? Need an emergency phone call. Need an phone phone. Secondly, as you can see, there's a boom microphone in the middle. Even if you whisper, say anything, it will all get picked up on that. So you've got to be pretty quiet. So if you sat there going, oh my god, I'm so bored. We will totally get it. It will go on over here. Just kidding. So this is the principal's question time. We have our lovely panel here who I'm going to let you uh, let them introduce themselves. Normally our student governor would be asking questions, but he's just running ever so slightly late. So how it runs is we've been given submitted questions and people have emailed in a list of questions. I'll read out the questions. The relevant person on the panel will answer. After that is your chance. Oh, here he is. Hit this. Bang on time. So sorry. Don't be down. Don't worry. You have some water. <laughs> so Matthew's here now, so he will ask the questions that have been submitted. Relevant person the panel will answer them and then you'll get your chance to ask any question you want. Is everyone alright with that so far? Fantastic. So <coughs> well we're not getting we'll start off with introducing our panel. Would you like to introduce that? Is everyone here alright? Fantastic. I'm Tom Benham, I'm the new senior IT technician. Um, I come from Compton House School and this is only my second week here, so please be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Luke Ludlow, I am Director for Information and Student Services at the College, member of the Senior Management Team, and I'll be answering some of your questions on the bursary and on the funding related issues today. Hi, I'm Leslie Hawkins, the Assistant Principal here at, at the College. Um, my name's Ed Derrick O'Toole, I'm the College Principal. I'm Andrew Appleby and I'm Henry Lerner. Hi, I'm Amish Mystery, I'm the Head of Student Support in the Department. That's straight to it, and I'm a bit nervous because it's the busiest one I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll start with questions from ICT first. Uh, basically about the food sink and the canteen, the food in canteen be cheaper at all and better quality. Is that, is that me to answer that? Yeah, 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 totally yeah, yeah. Um, we, we, we always seem to have questions about the quality and the pricing of the food in, in the canteen, so I think we need to do something different after, after this question time. Um, uh, I, I always come back and say, I, I think the food is really good quality, and you know, if you have a look at me, you, you know that I'm in the canteen a lot, but, uh, uh, and I also think that the food is, is reasonably priced, but I, I don't know, I mean, with this one, I, I wouldn't mind trying something back. It's, it's about but what do you think it should be and perhaps what do you think it should be priced at? We, we don't make a profit off the food. We try and deliver the food as, as competitively as we can. Uh, so for example, we, we've got porridge that we push out first thing in the morning um, uh, and, and we do that. Uh, we, 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 we offer a broad selection of food to try and respond to people. Uh, some years ago, people were complaining that there was very few or very little salad uh, offer. We put a salad bar in. Uh, the pricing of the food, to, to my recollection, it, it, it hasn't gone up that much. And if it has gone up in recent years, it's gone up probably in, in line with inflation. But my, my, my challenge back to you is what is it you require or what is it you want in a food <coughs> offer in, in, in the college? And I don't know how to, to, to get that response to it. Now, I'm conscious that Matthew works in, in the catering department, and we, we, we run our own catering, so, so the staff you see in, in delivering the food here are our own students. Uh, they, they work in preparing the food on both campuses, and we do believe it's good quality, we do believe it's, it's competitively priced, but it's how we would pick up your, your demands, your requests for it. Um, yeah, so, so over, over to you. How, how, how do we get more information about what, what is it you want? Do we run a survey? Do we get some focus groups in? What is it you want? What's not good in the food? Where are the IT students? Yeah, bring me the IT students. Bring them here. Where are they? Has anyone else got anything to say on the food? At middle and Norwich down. I think it's delicious. Who's that? Who's that louder? There we go. You think it's what? 
delicious. I think it's delicious as well. But let, let's, uh, let's ask other people whether it's delicious or not. Well, how, do, how does it compare to previous places you've either studied or, or worked in? Does it compare well with, with school meals? Does it, is, it, is, it, is it different? Is, it, is there a broader range? Is there something there that you're, you're, not, you're not getting? Desserts, you like dessert. Right. You, you know, so in the school meals, you always got dessert, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so colleges are, 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 are different. At, at up to 16, uh, there's an automatic entitlement to, to school meals. Post 16, unfortunately, the government doesn't fund it. It will fund it for, for some learners, but not for all. But we can look at providing it and offer for dessert. If, that, if that's required, but again, we do we do offer fruit and we do offer salad selection with, with, with that. I don't know. Looking at Danny Arangelo, maybe is there a, is a, we could work with a student uh, leadership team to perhaps run a, a box pop or, or a student survey <coughs> through its learning. Maybe we could get Farah with some student reps to, to craft a survey to try and get some information back from you on, on what it is you 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 want in a refectory. Because we, we, we always get this question. We always get the question about food, and we, we never satisfactorily come to uh, an answer or a conclusion. So I'm looking for your help uh, uh, in, in, in moving it forward. If you tell me you're not getting something in particular, today, for example, I thought that there was a broad range of food on offer in the refectory here. There was a curry, there was always chips, uh, there was fish, we always put fish on which is quite unusual, I have to say, in, in, in schools and colleges. We have the salad bar, uh, and we've got a fruit selection. So th there is a wide offer, but if, the, if you're not getting something that you think you should get, you know, perhaps I can work with Dan and, and Angela, along with Farah and the team, and we put together a survey, so the next time we get a principal's question time, we've got responses to the survey. Yeah. Would, that, would that be useful? Yeah. We're going to move quite quickly through these questions, because uh, some people have got to leave after. Is that Sure, right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. The next question is, can we have a full table well, in the middle of the common room? Yeah, yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> why, why do you want a pool table in, in this wonderful space that you've got? There is a difference between the two social spaces. And we did have a pool table last year. That's not to say that we, we can't look at extending the student social space. But one of the reasons why we put this configuration in is that that's what you asked for. So students last year said they wanted games and they wanted a social area. And a lot of students from last year said they were really uncomfortable with how <coughs> boisterous it got in the student social space. So what we've got is we've got the sports center, and, and, and at, at enrichment time and at lunch time we run activities there. So around the wall there's a whole range of activities, as well as the student social space. So I'd be very <coughs> reluctant to put a pool table in, 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 in here. That's not to say we can't look at putting it somewhere else with what it would in the college configuration. <coughs> and I, I will just remind you again, it's. It's difficult for me to think about this, but um, both student social spaces have been designed by students. So the student social space at Rochdale and here, we are the same way, we asked the survey, we asked you what you wanted, and the kit that you've got is the kit that's re requested. And I would ask you to, to take care of it, because it, it's your space. This is, this is your social space. Yes? Yeah. Next question is, is it possible to have a uh, three of us at dinner time rather than just five o'clock every night. Okay, um, I've seen we're doing all the answering on this, but I, 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 again I will say uh, the easy answer is no. Uh, and the reason why no is that we, we don't have the money to do it. But what I can do is I can look at the, the end times for the buses. So for example, last Friday what I noticed is that a lot of the facilities were closed down on a Friday quite early, yet the student bus didn't arrive until five o'clock. So there's a mismatch there. But we can't run a midday bus service for, for learners, unfortunately. Just because the funds that we get, uh, uh, we, we can't do that. Although there is obviously a public bus that comes uh, throughout the day on the timetable. I'm going to roll the next two questions in it's about the bursary. So sure. basically, people saying that why is it that everyone's getting different amounts, even though the situations are similar, and then some people saying that they can't. Uh, afford five pound a week, even though they're on a low income household. Okay, if I can ask Luke to, to pick this up, uh, Luke's the architect of how we deliver 
the four street to all our landers. And then if you want to ask a quarter of questions, then I'll come back. Okay, so the bursary, um, it's interesting because there's, there's a number of different pots of funding, if you like, that the college receives that we then distribute back into, the, back into your pockets as, as bursaries. Um, to answer the first question, why are some students on more bursary per week than others, even though circumstances are similar? One of the things, the, the bursary is basically there for two different things. Well, it was there last year for two different things, I should say. But that's, that's your food while you're in college, in, and it's your travel to and from college as well. So those are the two main things that the bursary funding was was given to the college in order to, to provide to you. We've also this year got a, a new separate pot of funding which is for people who are entitled to free school meals as Derek, as Derek mentioned before. So that, the reason why there are differences in how we apply um, the bursary funding to different students who are on apparently similar circumstances is because student A might qualify for a free school meal, in which case they get less bursary. Uh, but if student B isn't quali doesn't qualify for a free school meal, we might still choose to, to give that student more <coughs> bursary funds so to be able to support them with the, the money that they need to buy a meal while they're in college. Um, the, 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 all, that also partially answers the second question as well. So where the bursary, where somebody's receiving a bursary of five pounds, um, the expectation, my expectation is that that student should also be receiving some extra funding in, in, the, in the sense of a free school meal. The other complication in this system, as I said before, is that this money is used for your travel costs as well. And part of what the bursary funds go towards is contributing towards the cost of those three buses. It costs the college about £300,000 a year to provide the three, the three buses that uh, you see queuing up more than an evening to, to bring students to and from college. So some of, that, some of that funding that would come to you in the form of a bursary, if you live near to a, a, a route where a free bus is, is operating, some of that funding is, is, is uh, used, to provide the, used to provide the free buses. So students who don't live on a bus route, students who don't live with an easy access to those free buses, tend to get slightly more in terms of the uh, first route of the world because they need some, some funding to contribute towards their bus passes. So there's lots of different Although people might appear to be in the same <coughs> similar set of circumstances as another student, there are lots of reasons why um, students might get slightly different amounts of funding because of circumstances like that. to do with how close you live to the bus rooms, has to do with whether you qualify for free school meals or not. There's lots of complications within the within the system that mean that you get a slightly different amount on your student card. Has anybody got any questions on both business standards? Yeah? Yeah, me, I'm not sure if I actually get it, so... You're not sure if you get it? No. Have you asked your tutor yet? Yeah? I don't think I get it, so... Yeah, you, you go find out and then we can help you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll pick that one up, because that's quite important in there. So, can, can I just ask, do, do, does anyone here use the buses? Yeah? How, how does the buses work for you? All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll take all right. Where do the buses go? Because sometimes, sometimes in the school pasture, we have actual bus stands. Do the stuff at the stands? Yeah, we, we, we to, yeah. there's, a, there's a, a flyer, and I'm sure you can get them from, from reception, and it lays out all the bus routes and where they stop and where they're supposed to stop. Right. So there's designated stops for you to stand <coughs> on to, to get that bus. Uh, and we've got about eight bus routes, seven, seven or eight bus routes that go right, right across. And in the morning, we see you get an early see the buses going out. We see, we see them coming in, and, and you know, there's designated stops for, for that. Um, so, so, so you take the buses, yeah? They work for you. No, no. Right. Okay. The Q&A reception. They've got some little sort of credit card side leaflets showing <coughs> where all the stops. And, and what you might be able to do is get to one of the stops and yeah. then, then use the buses rather than. Yeah, so that might be Anybody else got any comments on the buses and how they work for you? I'm aware from last Friday of the issues over the buses leaving on, on, on a, a, a quite late on a Friday, but lots of the facilities and the classes closed, so that's something that I'm looking Okay. Move on to the next question. It's from the Fitness Academy. Can additional qualifications be added back to the Football Academy, such as the FA Level 1? I'm referring to qualification and easy improvement 
and in return for that you will have a higher salary, okay, and, and you better place in a very, very competitive market out there for jobs. I'm just going to move on. I'm going to roll the next question into one. Uh, people are saying that they miss the table tennis and the snoop tables. Could we, and many students enjoy them, could we get the tennis courts refurbished and start running activities in the sports arena? Yeah, because we, we've got very typical tennis weather today. Yeah. Haven't we? <laughs> the, ta the table tennis situation will be resolved. Um, we're just waiting for the timetable to settle down from the sports arena because the sports arena is used for classes as well, particularly for uniform public services and for sports. But now that's settled down, we will be having opportunities to have table tennis games and potentially tournaments in the sports arena. So I'll take that back and you'll probably hear about that on your what's on through your student support tutor. So there will be opportunities to do competitions there. And, and then just a, an added point on that, it's, it's not that we've just taken the room out and thrown away facilities and, and locked the space up. We actually converted the space into um, extended facilities for an area of the curriculum because this campus is very, very busy and that's a, that's a sign of the success in this, in, uh, of, of, of the campus. But we will look for, as, as Nim said, where we can replace the table tennis. And we will go back and have a look and see how we can extend these facilities. Uh, but I, I will say that a, a way to get Leslie and my colleagues and Luke and my colleagues and Angela to, to invest in this is, 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 is if it's kept well. So it's very important that you own this space you take care of all the student facilities that we've got as if they are yours because if they are yours. We're actually quite lucky at this college because we've got a sports maker. So the sports maker is there to put on different activities throughout the week. So there are lots of opportunities for students to get involved in different activities. And I'm just looking behind me as well, there's a timetable of a sports arena. And the sports arena is free for all students to use. You just need to do an induction. So if you are looking for some sporting activity. We've even gone to do yoga that started last week. That would be a really nice way to get people active and healthy. So if you've not joined the gym, that might be something that you could look to do. The next set of questions are all from Skills for Life. Is there any of them here? So we've got Thomas, is he here? Thomas. Do you know your question, Thomas? Skills for Life has lots of supports for students with us, but what support is available if we wanted to move on within college? Yeah. Um, you're right, we have got a lot of support in Skills for Life, but we do across the college as well. So if, if students were looking to progress into any other aspect of the college, then it will be no different. So what will happen is support arrangements will be reviewed, um, and that will hopefully follow with you, and we'll look to supporting you on for a while. Um, the other thing is you will still get a student support tutor if you are in a different program in the <coughs> as well. And what teachers do is they look at how individual learners need to learn and they will mix their learning and adapt their learning to meet your needs as well. So that wouldn't be a problem at all. Okay? Yeah. Is Zach here as well? Zach? Can you remember your question, Zach? No? Do you want me to ask it for you? Yeah, basically it says, can we have white lines on the stairs in, the build in all buildings with this visually edge? Yeah, yeah I, can, I, I can work on that and I can take that away. It may be an extended job because we've got lots of stairs. Uh, and, and the ambition is to include all our learners and all our facilities. So I'll take that back and I'll work with that director so we'll ensure that we've got a program to update that. Yeah. And it just says here, lots of students are still at the locks on the toilets in Henry West. Again. So the ladies tell us over. But <laughs> <laughs> well, where are the doors go? Where are the doors? But well, again, that's a, that's a, a, a. I think the phrase is no brainer with that. I'll make sure that all the toilets have got locks and all the toilets have doors. Yeah. Just don't keep, don't take the doors with you in the future. Yeah. We've got a, a question from a student that's not here from Naomi. She's Is it possible to have water fountains in the, in the Rochdale building? Well, I'm surprised it hasn't, uh, given the amount of money that we spent on the building this summer. But I'll go, again, I'll go back and have a look at that. There's no reason why it shouldn't have. <coughs> right. Okay, well, we can go back and get that. Another one from 
James Bounds. Uh, logging onto the computers even when IT have reset the password is causing a problem in class. Is this going to be sorted out? Um, I know there was some confusion with logging on. Uh, I've only been here a short period of time, but you now have to put student in terms of your learning number on the correct there. Now, instructions have been put on the welcome screen on all the computers, so hopefully if you read that, you won't have any problem from that uh, aspect of logging on, but I'm not actually aware, I've talked to my team, of what this problem is. When you come in, we reset your passwords, or the LRC are now resetting lots of passwords. Um, if you're coming back saying your accounts have been locked, the only way that can happen is if you've unsuccessfully put the password for three times. I can just ask you to be careful. Just stay jumping around and while we'll, 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 we'll speaking there, I mean, there's an issue of the printing in the Rochdale building. I think we can look at the distribution of printers because I think we understand that a lot of learners are printing and they've got to come to the LRC to print. But we can identify hotspots for printing and we can look to see if we can put a printer into the Rochdale building. That seems to be pretty straightforward. Has anybody got anything else on IT issues around college at all? Anyone from the Rochdale campus? This this might be tempting fate, but if I could uh, ask an open question around IT, and and, and I, uh, last time I met students, um, I got beaten up really badly by, because of IT and lots of other issues. But has it improved over the term? Has it got better for you? I know quite a few people that still can't log on. That still cannot log on. They, they're having trouble. There's quite a few people in the past. All right. Like if, if, you, if, you, if you could do me a very big favour, if you could send me one or two <coughs> of their names, well then, so that it's easier to solve a problem if you got a specific name to it. So if you could ask those people to, well, I don't know how they're going to email me if they've got IT problems, but if you, can get, if you can get their names to me so I can work with IT services. It's easier to solve a problem if we know specifically what the problem is. Okay. I've got a question. When we moved to Windows 8, uh, we got told that we would be able to log out, log in at home on our normal computers. Um, and we got told that things would be put out so that we'd know how to do it. I've not seen anything to say that. Um, it's not it's learning, but I don't use it's learning personally. Well, there you go. I just like you need to go in there to use this learning. You need to go in there. You need to learn. Well, you need to learn. Get those ready instructions there. But if 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 not, we've got copies of those instructions in both LRC. So if anybody wants a printed out copy, of how to access from home your college desktop, just come in the LRC and ask them to give them out to you. But they are there is a copy of the instructions on the whole courses. So whatever program you're studying in college, your course and its learning has the handout on there. Well, what we want you to be able to do is access your your email through Outlook 365 at home. And we want you to be able to access its learning at home. And if you don't know how to do that, let us know and we'll run uh, a set of inductions on that. And, and, and I'll take responsibility for that. I think the, the update didn't go the way we planned. We've got issues across with other members of staff, with members of staff. And, and we're, we're, we're putting some interventions in place. But I just want to know, has it got better for you? It, it, is OIT causing you a significant problem <coughs> in your learning at this moment in time? I think the answer is no. Okay, otherwise, if it was, you'd be nailing it to the wall. Has it got better? I'm not, not, I'm not looking for, you know, plaudits or anything. I just want to know what the reality is. Is it, yeah, is it causing, outside of the instance that you know where some members of staff or students can do it, you, know, you can you can do all you need to do in IT at the moment. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're going back to the buses now. Uh, the third <coughs> bus is really difficult to operate by staff because it's heavy. Can we get a new one? Well, I don't know whether we can get a new one, but I'll, I'll look at the issue. I mean, and I'll take that back as an action because the disabled bus should be easily used. So I'll ask again the director to have a look at that. Wait, wait, you, you, I think you're mixing up the disabled buses. I'm just throwing a question in there. We review the free bus provision every year, so the, the 
what, what we've got, as Derek said before, we've got eight rooms running yeah. this year. That we budgeted that in, into the plan for this year. And what we do is, in, when we get to Easter <coughs> time, we'll be looking at what we think we need for next year, based on where we think learners are going to be coming from, where they travel back from. Yeah. Yeah. So we know by Easter roughly which of you who are here are planning to still be here next year. Yeah. We know from our new applicants roughly where they live as well. So there is a we'll be looking to see what we've got available to spend. <coughs> Does anyone want to pay? That's the question. That's the question I get asked. Um, I don't think it does. Yeah. There's one coming out from Whitman. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. come down as far. It doesn't go out as far as the airport. But again, if we get a lot of students coming, <laughs> we can do it. I mean, some of the buses that we run this year run from <laughs> North Manchester because we get a lot of learners from North Manchester. Uh, next one is about the doors in Henry West. People say that they only open one way and get closed on people. <laughs> so they are going using the automatic ones to be made with the Henry West doors into the block automatic. I think, I think they're the main doors, aren't they, that you can in? I think that's what the question relates to, yeah, is the, the main actual ones, main yeah. door, where there's just one open. Yeah. Um, well, we can open two doors. We, we have a look at it. Open. I haven't actually seen anybody walk into the door. Yeah, but, uh, I have seen it at Rochdale where people are always familiar with revolving doors. And that's just a stamp. That's just a stamp. That was just a stamp. But we'll have a look at each of the doors, yeah? Yeah, we've also got a question on doors here. Yes. All the doors need to be electric. All the doors need to be electric, yeah? that they're accessible for all, st all students. Uh, the next question, is it possible to move the smoking area away from Rochdale building? As it's always packed, no one stands in it and we don't like walking through it. Well, I think that the smoking area sort of Rochdale building is heavily used. Oh, okay. uh, uh, and we just need to look at uh, actually stopping people's smoke rather than having more smoke. Right. Because the students not to say shelters are there for the people who want to smoke. There's plenty of them around, around the site, so it is important for the reason that this highlights here. We have some students who, whose mobility is impaired, and we've designed the campus in such a way that there are, there are, there are spaces that are um, suitable for those students to, to, to get through. But when people are clogging up that space to stand around and smoke, it's quite, it, it can cause obstacles and difficulties for those students. So it would be very helpful question a bit of a random one for winter but uh can we have some benches next to the football pitches for people to sit at a lunch I, 
I'm sure we can review it for the summer period when, when people actually want to go and spectate. But one of the issues is if you put fixed benches in sort of pitches, you'll, you'll limit the, the use and the health and safety concerns in terms of those benches. But it's not, not to say that we can look at temporary benching when, when it's uh, more amenable to uh, outdoor sports. And that's it for the questions. Has anybody got any to ask now? Yeah. Yeah, we can work with him and the team and have a look at that. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> can, can, can I ask, I mean, we've come to the end of the formal questions. Are there any other questions that anybody has got that you, you, you feel should be asked and hasn't been asked and you want to ask? Any other questions? Not very quiet today. I've got one about the Rockstar Star Campus. It was freezing this morning and this afternoon. <laughs> I know I know no there's no heating in there. Can we do something? Because it is freezing over at Rochdale. Well well okay, I didn't know it was freezing over at Rochdale. You don't <laughs> there a lot. What? You're not there a lot, you're always here. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, well yeah, well, when I do go there, you know. Well, what I will say is I've been freezing my ass off where I've been sitting all day today, you know. So we, we will have a look at heating across the college. Um, and and I, I'll work out why, why, why Rochdale is cold, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, I know that. It shouldn't be. So was the restaurant warm? The restaurant's always cold when you start, <coughs> when you get customers in and people in, it gets really warm. So the customers were okay? Yeah, the customers were fine. I meant out like in the refit itself. Right. Okay. Yeah. We, we, thanks for, for letting me know about that. Uh, any other. Boring issues? Price of chips and IT, that's it, yeah? Okay, thank you very much.